Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name's Matt. Uh, today's video, let's take a look at if we can transfer the VHSC cassette into a VHS cassette. Things that you're going to need. You're going to need the screwdriver, your original cassette, and a VHS cassette that you don't need. You're also going to need uh, some sticky tape. And remember, while a lot of people are probably going to say, oh, it's not how you splice, we're not splicing. We're just trying to get this quickly preserved onto the VHS just to be digitized and then the whole thing's getting thrown away. That's what's happening. So again, depending which which brand cassette you have, we've got four screws in this particular brand, which is a Panasonic. Some will have five. So again, just using the smallest Phillips head that you've got. Also remember, uh, the screws can actually be very hard to get out, but don't put oil on it, that's just going to wreck it. Okay, so at this point we've got the screws out, we're going to flip it over, I'm just going to gently lift it until it starts separating. Okay. Now, I don't have a flat screwdriver with me, but just try and see if we can get it to focus for you. But under here, this little section, there's a little catch. So just got to get in there and it'll pop out. But you've got to be gentle, otherwise, all the pieces are going to come flying out. I'm trying to see if it'll lighten up for you. basically that little catchment area right there okay so it's popped out but yes you'll usually have a little spot that's going to cause you grief okay so what is it that we have I'll try and lift it up again we're only keeping this side we're not interested in this that's not going to work on this cassette anyway so, not sure if you've already seen what we're going to do. All this is going to be replaced there. This is going to join onto here, onto this spindle. And, yeah, that's basically it. So what we're after is just the clear tape, just at this end. I'm just going to use a quick pair of scissors. Okay, so... VHS, you've got the five screws. So let's get started. These screws are definitely going to need to keep. Let me just point out too, if you're using one of your old cassettes, make sure that this section is split. Usually with the sticky tape on there, or the back tape, it's, uh, it's going to stop the cassette from coming apart. So you do need that split. Let's just turn this back over, lift it up. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this without... Uh, without getting too much in the way. So we've got the lid off the VHS and we have the spindles. So let's just take these out. Obviously, just for the record, you want to try and keep everything intact as much as you can. So just be gentle with pulling it out. 
because I don't need any of this tape, it's not important, I really just want the clear tape. So let's just quickly cut that. Oops, of course my scissors have to be blunt, don't they? And I'm not trying to be accurate because, again, this tape here, it's only just for one-off use. So I just need that. Again, I'm just going to pull this out. Be careful with these little pieces here. If the springs pop out, they can be a real pain to put back in. So just pay attention to what you're doing. Usually I'm standing over like from your view, not doing this from an angle. Okay, so here's the problem we're going to have. Like The hole is literally the size of the whole uh, VHSC tape. So it will sit in there, but it does wobble. So that's why we're about to find out if this trick works or not. In case you haven't remembered, this is only if it was an emergency and you weren't going to buy an adapter. So the other thing with the tape, I need to make sure it's the same, same width. So let me just cut a bit more. Just for the record, I've never done this for a customer. That sort of thing that I would do. I find other alternatives. But as long as I've got that staying on there, then I don't mind losing uh, what 30 seconds, maximum 30 seconds of footage out of 45 minutes. Okay, so now the big question we've got to get this back in. Okay, so I may have to constantly lift this up. Okay, this section, I need the tape to go, it's so hard to see, I wish I could lighten it up for you, but there's like a tiny little flap that needs to uh, have the tape go gently through there. And again, you would be using gloves. This is just for demonstration purpose. That's kind of my excuse to get out of that. Let's just check. Okay, so will it stay in place once the lid's on? I still think that can bounce around. There's still still space in there to be able to bounce around. Let's find out. Okay, so I've got the cassette inside the VCR. As you can see, it's running. VHSC is there. Uh, connected with just a standard easy cap video capture and got it recording through Magic's video editor. So this can easily be done, but will you do it for 20 cassettes? I don't know. I still think getting an adapter is a better option. That's just me. If you like the video, make sure you hit thumbs up.